We are now just one day away from the opening of Skyline. So what do you need to know if you plan to ride tomorrow or this weekend? Joining us now with all the details is Roger Morton, the director of the city's Department of Transportation Services. Good morning, Roger. Thanks for stopping by so bright and early. Now, thank you, Christine. Thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. Now, one day away. How's everything going? Well, so far, it's, it's sort of controlled uh, chaos, really. Now we're ready. We're very confident. Uh, we're, uh, we've run the trains now for over a year. Uh, this last week, we probably had uh, uh, lots of people riding, mm -hmm. uh, special groups. We've had AARP to try it out. We've had our disability groups. We've had some of our elected officials. So tomorrow, we're ready to open it up for the public. Before we get to the details and what people need to know when they ride, you just mentioned you've had certain groups ride it. Any kind of issue or problem or feedback that they've said that might be addressed? Well, actually, it just the, you know, what we do see is uh, I've been down there a few times, and when people come off, they're really usually very ecstatic about the quality of the ride, uh, just the experience. What I keep hearing is the views that mm -hmm. people uh, have seen, you know, because now they're up elevated, and they see things that, you know, we've never seen before when we drive our cars. Right. Now, 2 p.m. tomorrow, that's the big time and date. What do people need to know? Because there are people out there that they might not have even experienced rail in other cities or even a subway. So what do you want to tell them? Well, first of all, uh, you know, the when you get to a station, uh, you're going to use a fare gate. You're going to use your holo card uh, to enter the gate. After you enter the gate, you're going to take either an escalator or an elevator or a staircase up to the platform level. You should be looking at all of the, uh, the information signs to make sure you're going the right way unless you're getting on at the, at the Halaba Stadium. Uh, station. Uh, then when you get when a train comes in, the trains are, are very modern, most modern trains in the world. They're automated. There's no driver. Mm -hmm. uh, there are gates on the platform, and that's very different from most places on the mainland, even for people that have ridden uh, trains. So you can line up behind the gates. When the train comes in, it'll, it'll coordinate itself like an elevator with the gates. The doors will open. A uh, little bit of Elevator etiquette is, is, is important there. If people are on getting off, let them off first. Mm -hmm. Then just get on the train, uh, find a spot. There's, uh, for our first opening, you'll probably have a seat most of the time. There's uh, about 150 seats on the train. The trains can easily handle 500 or even more people on a train. But, you, but in our first opening, you know, we don't expect huge, huge crowds. So find a place. If, you, uh, if you're standing, hold on because... Although the train leaves at the same rate every time, it does re leave at a, at a pretty good acceleration. So hold on to something. Uh, the train will leave the station, uh, and then you're on your way. And how long or how, how fast does it go, actually? Well, the trains can go up to 55 miles per hour. Uh, I've been on the train. I've measured the speed. And, and for certain segments, we get up to 55. Usually, we get a little bit slower than that just because the spacing of the stations. We accelerate. We decelerate. Uh, the average speed is about 32 miles per hour, and that includes the stops. Now, when the train stops, uh, it doesn't stop for long. The doors open. It stays open for about 20 seconds. Uh, there'll be an announcement. The doors are closing, uh, and, and that's the way uh, the system works. And speaking of how the system works, you know, people are used to the bus where if they need to get off, they, you know, push a button, yeah. pull a string, do something to alert the bus driver to stop. Is it the same for rail? Now, this is an automated metro system, and that means the train will stop at every station. Now, in our first segment, there are nine stations, so mm -hmm. there are nine stops. Uh, trains come every 10 minutes. So, uh, like on a bus, usually you want to look at a schedule, you want to figure out, I want to catch the 922 bus Really, when it gets down to 10 minutes, uh, you know, the, the, the trains will come so frequently uh, that you don't have to really have a schedule. Now, speaking of schedule, it does open to the public 2 p.m. tomorrow. Yes. But you do want to tell people you don't have to get on at 2 p.m. And also, you don't have to get on at only two points. Yeah, we're going to have five days of free riding. And let me go through that. On First of all, on Friday... All stations will be open at 2. Our uh, parking lot, our, our largest park and ride, is at uh, the Aloha Stadium Halava Station. 
uh, and we're going to open that parking lot directly at 2 p.m. And that's because we, we are going to, you know, we have a ceremony going on there. We have to break it down. Mm -hmm. And so I want to just warn people, don't come before 2 at that station. The other three, uh, two parking rides, or uh, there's one at Ho'opili and one at UH West Oahu. There's a small area at Westlock that people can park as well. Uh, you can uh, you can go there before 2, uh, but the system will not be open until 2. And there are nine stations. People can enter at any station uh, because we're going to be operating regular service. Now, on Friday, we're just going to keep our gates open, our fare gates, so you won't need a holo card on Friday. Um, uh, and then what happens on, on Monday, on uh, starting on Saturday and for the 4th of July weekend, uh, you will need a holo card. But on, on the Saturday, we're also going to be adjusting our bus service so that it better connects with rail. And that's going to start on Saturday morning, right at 4.30 a.m. So you can take a bus, uh, you, can, oh, you, can, uh, you can drive to a park and ride. Uh, and I just warn people, you know, we might get overwhelmed because people have, there's been a lot of interest in trying to, uh, about this rail system. So gauge yourself, you know, if, if, uh, if you have to come on a, on a Friday at 2, just be aware that you may be a crowd of waiting to get on. We can take three, 400 people per train, but there is a limit to how many we can take. All right, so you don't have to all get on at 2 o'clock and all have to be at Halava or Kapolei. Roger Morton with the city's Department of Transportation Services. Thank you so much for stopping by and telling us what we need to know. And thanks for having us.